eternal life. The discovery of gunpowder is a very interesting story. Ancient Chinese alchemists, also known as teosis, were attempting to create a substance that provides immortality. By combining potassium nitrate from decayed animal manure, common charcoal, and sulfur, the alchemists had created gunpowder instead. This is believed to have occurred during the Tang Dynasty, which is, was in the 9th century. When the Chinese first discovered gunpowder, they did, did not instantly develop weapons. The first uses of gunpowder were actually for firework displays. After a while, the powder was used in warfare to scare off approaching intruders. When they realized the noisy explosions could be deadly, the Chinese took advantage of this and began to develop weapons. Written information on the formula for gunpowder was not documented until the 11th century. During the 12th and the 13th century, gunpowder spread throughout the Old World rapidly in all forms. Cannons, fire arrows, fire lances, fireworks, grenades, mines, and then later as guns and artillery. Usages of gunpowder haven't changed much over the years. So far, however, we've only spoken about gunpowder in general. There are actually two types of powder. First is black powder, a simple combination of carbon, saltpeter, and sulfur. Then we have smokeless powder, a white in appearance and a more complicated chemical makeup. Smokeless powder was invented in 1884 by Paul Vielli. Black powder is highly explosive whereas smokeless powder is more of a propellant. Black powder is mostly distinguishable by large clouds of smoke produced when fired, this being the biggest problem. The smoke was made up of carbon and ash from, was created from the saltpeter. The creation of smokeless powder was a major stepping stone for higher rates of fire and stronger firearms. Much less time was spent preparing a fire, and more actually firing one's weapon. <laughs> 